What is the shortest MFC program one can create? That's the question we're going to answer right now. The answer is 15 lines of code. Okay, that's the answer straight away. This video will be very short. I will not go to the details. I will just show a couple of things. I'll keep it short. When we create a normal MFC project, we will go from here and uh, press that button MFC application and we get all of these. So we get 13 files and we get hundreds of lines of code like this. So the question is that can we create a smaller MFC program? The answer is yes and let's do it right now. So I said I promised 15 of lines. Let's see I can, if I can do it. I'll show the easiest way to start this thing so we, we can go to the project and uh, I think the easiest way is to create a Windows application so we can go to the, um, to the wizard because it lets us to choose how we create it. We don't want to create any you know extra files we just want empty project so next and let's call it um, smallest smallest MFC looks good create and uh, it's not going to be console window we could actually start by console window but then we need to change a couple of things more so best to choose a desktop application and aha empty project also empty project everything empty we will add that file there and there we go and now let's add one file add new item and it's gonna be a cpp file because we are we are doing c++ coding so that that's logical so let's uh, name it smallest um, mfc cpp and add and that's an empty file that's all good so let's start doing this first of all we need to include the MFC uh, components which are here in this in this header. Now if we go back to the back to the big project which we created by the wizard, we can see that it's actually here. I actually copied it from here, I think. Yeah, we don't need all of all of this in this video. We only need this main thing which is the main component. So let's go back. So that's there. Then we need to create the application object. That's how MFC works. It needs to have one application object. This is how we're going to create it. But we need to first create a class for the application object. So I will create it like this. So it needs to be inherited from, from WinApp. And this will be the initialization function. When the, when the program starts, it will first go here before it starts even running the program loop and um, now we need to create this function I'll start building it here we are almost there it's almost 15 lines isn't it so so we are soon there uh, when we create the application object after that it will start running the windows loop behind the skins so the MFC starts running the uh, loop and it will call the initialization function init instance before it starts running the loop and um, there we better call first uh, the parent class init instance because it's doing a couple, couple of things there and then we need to create our a window okay so this line here creates the main window which we're gonna show so when we run it we could create any uh, CWND object here. We can see that the main uh, main window object or pointer, it's um, CWND. So we could create a dialog here, or we could even I think we could cre even create a button here. I'm not sure. I, I never tried that actually, uh, but that might be possible. Uh, and it can be kind of any window here, and it will use it to be as the main window in this application and then um, we need to create this frame window I, I created the frame window in this case and um, we need to create the window here 
this creates the object and now we are creating the window itself and this will be the title so it will be very small and uh, then we need to show the window if we don't do this it will not show the window it will just create the window it, it will be hidden behind the skins kind of and then we need to return true and this after this return true the windows message loop starts so the mfc starts checking the windows messages and starts processing those messages and sending them to you if you want to handle them but in this program we are not doing that we are not handling any messages and that's it this is the smallest mfc program yes 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 we got it changing it to 64 bit first now this is not an mfc project um, yet because if I go to the settings if you remember I created a Windows application not MFC application so if we go to the advanced it's actually saying here here use MFC so it, we are not using MFC here you see uh, we are we are using standard uh, Windows libraries so we need to select the MFC here because we are using MFC in a code so one of these let me let me choose the share DLL. Press OK. And uh, now let's try to compile this. There's still something red here, so let's see what it, what that is. Compile. Now there is one thing I need to change here because because I'm calling the frame window create here, and this pointer is uh, CWND, which doesn't have this kind of create function. So I need to cast it cast it to uh, frame window and which is okay because because this is this pointer is actually pointing the frame window it has the parent class uh, pointer so I need to do a cast here so we can do dynamic dynamic cast and what we need here is that we need this kind of pointer Okay, and now there's no red line anymore. So let's compile now. And run. Control F5. <laughs> Voila. There it is. The smallest MFC. We've done it. We can go to the records books now. And that's it. I'm planning to create another video explaining all of this in detail and that will be a longer video. Thank you very much and see you next time.